On Sunday, September 18, a team of archaeologists in Israel announced what they have described as a once-in-a-lifetime discovery upon finding a burial cave dating back to ancient Egyptian pharaoh Ramesses II. The cave has also been called frozen in time as it has been untouched for at least 3,300 years. The discovery was made during construction works in the Pomakam Beach National Park by the Israel Nature and Parks Authority. According to the Israel Antiquities Authority, IAA, the cave has not been opened in over three millennia, this is a once-in-a-lifetime find. It's not every day that you walk onto an Indiana Jones set, a cave with tools on the floor that haven't been touched in 3,300 years, said the country's antiquities authority expert, Eli Yennai, in a press release. The rock-hewn cave contains several intact pottery vessels and bronze artifacts to serve the deceased into the afterlife. The vessels include deep and shallow bowls, footed chalices and storage jars, some of which have been imported from the Lebanese coast, and smaller vessels such as jugs and juglets imported from Tyre, Sidon and ports along the Lebanese and Israeli coast. Yenai, the IAA Bronze Age expert, believes that some of the vessels had been imported from other countries like Lebanon, Syria and Cyprus which was common for the burial assemblages of the era, the local media reported. But it also shows the lively trading activity that took place along the coast, said Yen Nai. The finds in the cave date to the 13th century BC, Late Bronze Age IIB, says Dr. Eli Yen Nai from the IAA. In this period, in the long reign of the 19th Egyptian dynasty, Pharaoh Ramesses II, the Egyptian Empire controlled Canaan, and the Egyptian administration provided secure conditions for extensive international trade. Preliminary studies have also found lamps and bronze arrowheads were spearheads, and human remains in two rectangular plots in the corner of the cave. The cave has been resealed and is under guard while a plan for its excavation is being formulated, however, before the arrival of IAA archaeologists some of the burial items were looted which is now being investigated by the authorities. Dr. Yen Nai added, the fact that the cave was sealed and not looted in later periods will allow us to employ the modern scientific methods available today to retrieve much information from the artifacts and from the residues extant on the vessels, for example, organic remains that are not visible to the naked eye. The cave may furnish a complete picture of the Late Bronze Age funerary customs. Shortly before the cave was sealed, and despite guarding it, a number of archaeological items were stolen from the cave, and the matter is under investigation, said IAA head Eli Esquizito, in a statement. Image credit, Israel Antiquity Authority.